This is a really nice looking skeleton. This is in very good condition. He was buried, very unusually, in a ditch at Stonehenge. This is a very highly ritualised site. So this is quite an unusual find. People often get the impression that in the distant past, life was nasty, brutish and short. We know that this man died when he was in his late 20s, but I wouldn't say his life had been nasty and brutish. You look at him, he was a robust, muscly man of about five foot 10. Tiny nicks seen in the bones reveal the cause of the man's premature end. He was shot repeatedly with flint arrows. several injuries all in the chest area that show where those arrows went. And if we start off by looking at this bone here, the breastbone of the sternum, if I take this arrowhead, you can see the tip of the arrowhead where it's come into his body from the back and to the side and has stuck into the back of his sternum. The angle of the arrow wounds show the man is isolated and shot from close range. In addition, we have injuries in the right side of the ribs. You can see there are two little marks, one here, and although this is damaged, there is also another mark there. The forensics are clear proof. He did not die in a hunting accident or in battle. And the location of his grave rules out the possibility he is a criminal. The arrowhead has passed through between the ribs and gone straight through into the body where it is stuck within the soft tissues. Similar to on the right-hand side, we have two of the ribs on the left-hand side, we're looking at the 10th and the 11th, where again, a arrow has gone between the two ribs and caught the top of one and the bottom of the other. And we know that this is one of the three that would have killed this young man. The evidence leaves McKinley with little doubt why the man's life is taken to be buried in that ditch at Stonehenge with the injuries he has, suggests we have a sacrificial victim. Perhaps the man's death is a warning to others not to trespass. Or maybe he's died willingly to appease the gods. But no other fatalities of this kind have ever been found in Stonehenge. So the exact reason for his execution may never be known. <laughs>